My name is Martin, and I have a problem. I am a hoarder of lawnmowers. I never realized that I had a problem until a few weeks ago I was in my backyard in Illinois with a friend and I was showing him this prized possession I'd just come up with at a sale for a dollar. And he looked around and he said, how many lawnmowers do you have? Well, when I started adding them up, it dawned on me that I have a problem with hoarding lawnmowers. Of course, all these mowers have their special uses, and so I defended myself in that way. This big back told here is probably my prized possession. I picked that up at a sale one day. The neighbor was having a sale, or he'd have a sale the next day or two. He was getting ready, and I... I spotted this in his yard and I stopped and I, I said, hey, how much you want for that? And he says, well, I haven't run it in 10 years. I think it runs. He says, how about $25? Well, I was, I was so anxious to get it. I said, well, I'll give you 40. And he didn't bat an eye. He took my two $20 bills and I loaded the, my prize up and took it home. And I've been able to, it's pretty beat up, but I've been able to keep it going over all the years. And that beast over there, my late friend Hawk of Hawk's Pond, he always was a little late getting his lawn mowed, and so he made this thing up back in the 90s, 1990s, with a big five horsepower Honda engine on it. And at that time, a five horsepower meant a lot of power. Nowadays, it doesn't mean that much, but in that day, it was a powerful mower and got the big wheels on it, so it wheels through pretty rough country. So then, of course, I got the little the little job there that Fox Dad Hogger sent up here for the cabin, well, back about 1990. So some of these old mowers there, you can just keep them going. So many people throw them away when the, th the first little problem comes along, they figure, well, that's not worth saving. And usually just a matter of a little junk in the carburetor. So it just feeds my addiction. Oh. This is at the at the cabin, but I, I I've got one more out near Hawks Pond, and then sitting in Hawks Pond right now, I left my brush mower, my swing echo brush mower out there that I use for cutting grass on the on the really rough stuff. Well, that that adds. And let's see at the at the shack in Illinois, up at the farm where I keep some of my stuff. I have an old riding lawnmower there. And I got a regular push mower down below, and then, oh, I've got my big swisher walk behind. Now that just covers the outlying places. I don't even want to talk about what I have stashed in the backyard. So as I've said, my name is Martin, and I have a problem with holding lawnmowers. I thought I was seeing a spruce grouse hitting insects, but it ended up being a, a rough grouse out here. And if he takes off, I think he's after grasshoppers. I don't think I've ever had spruce grouse and rough grouse in the same picture before. This 
spruce grouse, of course, is picking grit, and the rough grouse is picking food. We're having a party this morning. Indeed. And 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 what are these I'm sharing with him? Bonnie's so, world famous cherry pies. Ooh. Friend Jim wasn't here to eat any. Kevin wasn't here, so we got some extra, so. See? I'm generous. Always we can't willing. mail them out, but we can have them here. Always willing to help out. Sure. Is that about right, Martin? Yeah, but I need to. Gonna be offended if you call him a Gray Jay. Oh, right. They've officially got a new name now. Oh. They put it back to Canada Jay. Oh. It used to be years ago, and then the birding world do a lot of splits and renaming a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Well, they put these back to where they're supposed to be. So. That sounds correct. Canadian Jay. Because well, they don't really know Canada come. Jay now. Canada, Canada Jay. Back, back to Canada Jay. Makes sense. All right. All right. So if he comes in again, we apologize. I will. <laughs> is this a, uh, a homemade recipe then? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very unique. You wouldn't find anything like this in the store. Yeah, it, no, you no. It's, it's caramelized too, um, which is nice. Yeah, it's right on. You get fresh cherries at a Mennonite store up the road, and freeze them, and then she can make these things up when I've got a trip coming. So I made a big pile of them this time. So. Huh, very nice. That's cool. All right, guys. Got a friend there, Adam. I share my pie with you. You can share with my friends, okay? Let's see when he gets hungry again. I apologize for calling you Gray Jay. Canada Jay. <laughs> Mr. Canada Jay. Mr. Canada Jay. <laughs> or Mrs. Oh, man. So Martin, you redid the foundation on your house recently. Well, um, probably four or five years ago now. Okay. I'm Have far. you ever seen it before? Mm-mm. This is the first time up here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was, uh, it's an old original cabin and logs were just set right on the humus soil. Sure. It wasn't even straight away to the sand and they yeah. were just, the bottom two logs were getting kind of bad. So. Yeah. But, well, it's time and I just come up here with 13 jacks and got her straightened out. See, they're not fussy mm -hmm. at all. Oh, now you got another one. Okay, now they're both here. Got buddy there. Okay. Really good with the coffee, kind of balances it out. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. You got pretty good eyes. I know what they're looking for. Oh yeah, you can't if you put any crumb out here. They'll come back into this yard and they'll nail it where, wherever you have laid it. Huh. Another one. Pretty precise. Yeah, there's one. He can pick them right off. Oh, sugar. Let them very. slow down. Very. Pretty quick, yeah. They like barely land and they're able to grab it and go. Yeah, I think they're a little nervous with this many people. Mm -hmm. um, they'll calm down here in a second. <laughs> I expected that. Well, I got to protect my pie. <laughs> yeah, come on. Tear it off yourself. There you go. Yeah. What? <laughs> Come on, you might as well get your piece too before I get into my pie.
That's the flighty one. You gotta give them a little bit of a break. Come on down and just stay away from my pie, okay? No, I don't rock the rock the boat. There you go. That's more like it. Yeah, don't lose any pieces. You can hear a little, little red squirrels, the pine squirrels, pine rat, however, uh, what do you want to call them? There's, there's quite a few around. I got some peanuts inside that I, I was planning on trying to tame some down, but. I really don't know if I want to do that or not. These guys here, kind of enough of a pest. Well, fun pest. Yeah, yuck, yuck, yuck. So, anyway, I, I think they flew away with a piece I can maybe get something in myself. Oh, I see a robin flying in the background. Another bird around. Hey, that didn't take you very long. No. Where are you putting that? Yeah, huh? get your cram full now. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Whoa, please leave my fingernail alone though. That, that's not part of your meat pie. Man, <laughs> can you get any more in there? Buddy, you better quit shaking the camera and get over here this last bite. There you go. You're gone. <laughs> I'll have to make pancakes again in the morning. Running out of their supply, and I'm certainly not going to give them any pie. Well, maybe just, maybe just a little bit. Oh, so, I'm just too much of a softy. Yeah, you missed it, but you'll get it. Still got my my wool shirt on. Just getting pleasant enough I can probably start thinking about getting it off if I start walking, but otherwise. Now let's see, you want crust or cherry? I think you like the crust best, huh? Yeah? What do you think? Yeah. Uh-oh. 